Hey guys, my name is Cineac and welcome to what potentially could become a brand new series of Prison Architect. Hey, wait for it guys. Modded. Yes, that's right. I've installed a ton of mods in Prison Architect. And if you guys enjoy this and want me to turn it into a series, then make sure you smash that like button down below and leave a comment saying, Cineac, you fool, play some more. And we'll do just that, guys. Now, I will quickly pause the game right now. This is uh, modded. I've done a very similar series to this on my main channel, and I thought it would be pretty cool to do another one on my second channel. And the mods that I got installed is a lot more than I did originally. So if we go to my mod list right now, for those that are interested, I've got all of these mods. Look at all of these right now. There is so many mods I've currently got in, like electric radiators, uh, fixing like some of them are fixed like certain stuff like uh, sports mod adds like you know like a swimming pool and treadmill and sauna uh, faster work men we got gun manufacturing so we can create like gun workshops uh, more templates we got like let's have a look at how we got as well. we got like laminate flooring uh, easy learning we got Consuela the janitor we got gang leaders so you get like a 99% chance of more gangs uh, members and it's gang infested so it's gonna add to the difficulty of building up this prism We got the barbershop mod and stuff like that. there is tons of stuff first aid stations money laundering aviation with helicopters simple gardens More grants recycling more manufacturing there is tons of mods and I am pretty excited So again guys if you want to need to turn this into a series then make sure you smash that like button down below so the first episode then, it's it's pretty much kind of laying out the foundations of how we want the prison to go and stuff like that. Uh, what I'll do straight away is just quickly go to the reports and go to our intake. And we're going to close off the intake. I don't want no prisoners arriving anytime soon until we build literally the foundations of our prison. Now we have a ton of grants that we can look at. I think I'm going to get the first one. So we get like two, I'm not going to use the, there's quite a few of these. Uh, you get like a grant for installing some, some of the certain mods, which I believe one of them gives you, there we go, half a million. Like, I don't want to do that just yet. That seems a little bit ridiculous. So we're going to do stuff like a basic detention center to begin with. So that just give me the, like, a, a brief few goals of what I need to accomplish first. So... Ah, you're gonna love this. We have so many rooms to choose from. We have so many materials to build from. So many objects to choose from as well. This is crazy. You guys are gonna love this. But what we're gonna do first is go into quick planning and just kind of lay out some blueprints and foundations of how I want it. So what I want to do then is I, I kind of want to have an end, like a, a, like a you know a main entry point to the prison, and I think I start it kind of here. So let's get uh, pathways here. We'll make it a two by two. There we go. We'll make it up to 15. So that'll be the path entrance into the prison. And then what we'll have is just here, the large gate. So I'm thinking then if I go, let's see. Because I want it to kind of enter straight away. I've got an idea. If I do like this, we do like a, a slight corridor. And then how big is that? That is 14. What's 14 by 14? Is that too big? And then get rid of that there. So I wanted to enter into a reception area. That's where the newly incoming prisoners get checked out. They go through metal detectors. They get searched. to Make sure they got no contraband on them before they enter into the prison. Now, I don't know if that's a, a room that I can build from the get-go. Is it? It is, actually. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. So we got that then. And then once they go through there, we'll then do a 4x8 uh, there. Was that a 4x8? What was this one again? That was a... Oh, no. 4x6. Okay. So, let's do a 4x6 here. So, they enter into another corridor system, which we'll do another 14x14. 14 14. There we go. Ooh. And then once they've got through this section here, which will be more metal detectors and whatnot, uh, then they're into the main entry section of the prison. So, we'll be kind of filtering them in. And what we'll do is we'll have now another... Oh, no. That's kind of... Completely off-centered there. Four by six here. And then this kind of works then on two. Now, how do I want to do this? So, I want to kind of create offices. So, is an office... Is it four? Is it seven by seven an office? Because we're going to need some offices at some point. Now, where is the offices? Uh, just there. They are a, a minimum size four by four. Okay, we'll go with the seven by seven because it is a fairly decent size. So... 7x7, 
seven by seven. And then we'll do like a, a two corridor. And we'll have it the same going here. And at the very end here, we'll have a nice large staff room. There we go. So I'm trying to filter it all through. Trying to create the blueprint foundations. And that's kind of what I want from the get-go. That's going to be the, the blueprints to the prison, which is pretty interesting. And then just here, we'll have another 4x6. And then that there then, and this kind of entry point there, it goes into the prison. Which is going to be super duper cool. Now I'm thinking I close it off there. And then it'll be outdoors, and then we have all different individual cells and pods and stuff like that. That'd be pretty cool. So what I need to do then is get these guys to build these sweet, sweet foundations. And how expensive is this going to be? Probably super expensive. But it's what we need. It's going to be worth it. We need to get it all literally done and placed in. So, how much have I spent now? I spent quite a bit of money. So let's fast forward then and get these guys building the foundations to our prison. I was super excited about this. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. One of the other mods I've got as well is the power station. Look how big that power station is. It's like almost double the size of the original one. If you compare it to the water pump, because the power station is like roughly the size of the water pump before. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? I'm, I'm, I, I'm loving these mods already. I haven't even used all of them. I'm just like literally loving them. So once we got this kind of foundations and basic, you know, principle of this prison set up, I'll then work on each individual cells before we start accepting our first prisoners. Now objects then, we're going to go to these large jail doors because we're going to need one here. We'll also place uh, one there and we'll do one here as well. Because I don't want prisoners to be able to get into the offices or staff room. So we'll place those for now like that. That should be fine. Which now should build everything. Yeah, boy. It's all coming together. I'm liking it. I am literally liking it. Right, come on. Get done. Get built. Boy. Okay, so now they got to place in all the lighting. So just to keep them slightly busy as well. What I will do is kind of quickly place down now the, uh, the electric wire grid. Now I want to keep it fairly realistic like the you know electricity running through the walls so I want to try and do my best here I need it to run across here as well because we're going to have metal detectors and whatnot so we'll have it stop there so it's a lot they're going to get in but it's going to be super a duper dope so we literally let them do what they've got to do. We'll let them do what they've got to do. Okay. So, other stuff that we're going to need then is uh, we need a water supply. We need to set up the utility room as well. So I think that's something that we should handle right now. Now, I've got to try and work out how actually big this is. It is... Um, hold on. Let me do some planning quickly. I think it's a... Is it a 7x7? Seven seven? So utilities... No, it's a six by six. Okay, I got it. Sweet, mate. So it's kind of, it's that size, isn't it? Damn, that's super big. <laughs> it is super big, isn't it? Right, okay. Um, where do I want to place this, this utility room then? So if I do something like this, or is that too much? Keep the grid ink going in there. And we'll place some foundations there. And we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes, guys. <laughs> right then, while they get all that sorted then, we're going to do some planning. What's this here? Oh, that's one of those... Um, why can't I collect it? Yeah, no pages for... You know, prison architect. The collection things. Uh, okay, so we need to figure out then how I want to do the cells and stuff like that. So, uh, we come out here. This is where the prisoners come out, and then they're in the general prison. I do need to eventually build, like, a wall or a fence going around the whole place. I'll do that over time. Uh, but I need to build something here. So I don't know where I'm going to start it. I don't know how it's going to work. We can make it go straight into a yard area and then build individual pod cells around the whole yard. That could be good. That could be the way to go forward. 
So what we'll do, we'll go back to planning then. Cause i got to keep the planning underway. Now, I, I do like using the 2x2 two two grid section that we got here. So if I do that there, and then we come up. Let's go up by 10. And go by 10 there. Uh, and then... Hmm, how much... How far do I want it to go round? So I've done a 10x10 10 10 there. And if I bring this up to... 40. And then that... By 40 as well. And then the inside area here, it can be a yard. That's my thought process behind it. And then I slowly start to build stuff going around it. It could work. It could not work. It's just one of those things you have to see over time. Uh, but what we'll do, we'll place down walls then. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm going to I'm gonna do something what I've done similar in the past and how I build like kind of cells and whatnot. And that is I like to create uh, like a cell pod. We go four by six, but then we have quick build ones, don't we? So a four by six looks like this. Um, so four by six there. Do I go for those type of ones? We have many, we have like a basic cell here. I could use a four by five. What's the difference with this? It has a shower and a toilet as opposed to this as, as a toilet. Ooh, that seems fancy. We have many versions of it. Oh, that's too fancy. That's getting too fancy now. So a four by six, that's kind of what we're going to go with. So if I do a, a, a four by six like that, that's the cell. Then we do a, we could do like a two spacing. So make it come across. One, two, uh, another two there, one, two. Because I want to try and work out how we can get uh, metal detectors and stuff in like that. So if we had jail door there, metal detectors there, and then sows are running up and have like a slight small common room in the middle, it could be the way forward. Right, we'll play around with it then. So 4x6, four 4x6, six, four six, four six. that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten. So about like ten on each side, and then um, so the one, two there. Do the kind of same here now. So is that by six? Yeah. And then we run all the way up to the top, just like that. And at the very top here, if I do a eighteen by ten, is that too much or eighteen by eight? 18 by, that can be like a shower room. So even though they've got showers in their cells anyway, it's always nice to have an extra shower room just in case. So we'll just see how things fly there. And if I had the gap there so they can enter into it. And this whole middle section here will be like a, kind of like a common room. So, you know, stuff can happen and whatnot. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just I'm trying to, it's just like a, a cell wing, like, you know, wing A or cell block A or whatnot. So let's get all that in. There's a lot of stuff that we, we've got to get them to do now. So we might as well have a little bit of a fast forward session right now. And this is going to work out really, really well. I'm super hyped for this. So we just got to wait for them to spend some time. So other stuff I need to get done. Uh, ooh, we need to place an entrance on here. So, um, oh, no, objects, sorry. We'll place a staff door there. <clears throat> so we can build that in. And then once we've got the staff door in, we can then build the utility area and get all that set up. Uh, we're going to quick build some offices. Where are the offices at now? They're here somewhere. 6x6 six six office? Oh no, I chose to do a 7x7, seven seven, didn't I? Oh, Seniac. You damn fool. Right, it looks like we're building the offices ourselves then. So materials, brick wall. There we go, just get all this in. Beautiful. Objects, staff doors. So one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. And then we should have like a double staff door system there. That should be pretty cool, right? Yeah, boy. 
So we've got all that in. We've got to place the, the jail door here. So objects, large jail door. Nice. We'll get now the utility room in. So utility, power station. Damn, it's a big boy power station. We'll get some capacitors down as well. We can. I'm not going to do all of them because they are like super expensive, but we'll get like some down. And then we also need the water pump in too. There we go. So we got a little bit of power there. Okay, they've got now all the capacitors down there that we need for the most part. So that should hook up now all the power once it's connected. So anytime today, work men. Right, we'll let him do what I gotta do. Okay, so rooms then. We're gonna designate these rooms, these offices. So we need six in total for the various different employees that we get to have. Uh, office desk then. Let's try and do each one similar. So just gonna try our best. We need a filing cabinet. And of course we need a chair so they can sit on and do office things. Yes. Boy, liking it. Liking it a lot. Okay, so they've chosen to do the offices before they even do the electric grid. Fair enough. Do what you want, mate. Don't even care, do ya? They don't even care, guys. Well, I've still in, so that means I can now hire a prison warden. Get him in and do what he's got to do. We're now going one more wire. Boom! We have power! Oh, we need to do power for this section. I forgot. Okay, so utilities. How much have I got left? 17,000. All right, we're just going to run it around like that. It's completely fine. I've got to do the water pipes too. I've only just realized that's something extra I'm going to do. So have this running up to here. And we'll have it go around the border of our cell wing. Nice, mate. And once I've got all that kind of set up... Oh, did I do the connection for... I didn't, did I? No. Once I've got all the power stuff set up there, we'll then start placing the individual uh, cells in and whatnot. So let's also designate this reception room now. So this is the reception room where they get integrated into the system to begin with. And we need various things. We need an office chair, a table, and an office desk. So let's start with a... Uh, oh, what should I start with? Should we start with them? Hmm. Coming from the metal detector is what I start with, right? There, there. So two sets of metal detectors there. Uh, we need... Okay, so... Tables. Or should I go for off? Oh man, it's, it's tough trying to figure out how I want to play this now. So what we could have then is one there, one there. Sorry, chair there, chair there. As they come in, table there. No, let's not place the table there. We'll place a table here, here, here. Here, there, and there. So various tables around. This is the reception area. It's actually pretty dope. I like it. And we got the metal detectors set up as well. Wow, there's a lot of stuff that we need to get done, isn't there? Damn, boy. Well, we'll let them get it done over time. Okay, so we got that set up then. Um, I'm thinking we'll place in the yard now. So materials. Oh, do I place the grass down? It is quite expensive, isn't it? It is quite expensive. I still need to do like a holding cell and stuff like that as well. Get all that set up. Uh, and, and whatnot. It's quite a lot to do with this now. So I need to accept a few of our grants. So we're going to do this one. Gives me a little bit extra. And I can do two at once, can't I? So unlock finance through bureaucracy and hire an accountant. So look how much extra stuff we get to research. It's crazy. So unlock financing with the bureaucracy. There we go. Get that done over time. How is this? So, power station is pretty good. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, right, so we should look at now the quick build menu for these cells, the four by sixes. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do I not have enough money? <laughs> I think I don't. Damn, my city! Spending all the cash money, Moon, aren't you? I am, guys. I literally am. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> These are actually pretty good sales because they're going to have showers in, too. So they're going to handle the needs straight away. I'm already super duper impressed. But money can be an issue. Money literally can be an issue. So. Once this bureaucracy thing's done, I can then do another grant to get a little bit extra cash money moolah coming in. So the workmen are doing a stellar job right now. Absolutely killing it. So we have nowhere to eat, so we always need to sit on the canteen. There is so much stuff we need to get done. So much stuff. So I can now hire an accountant. That grant is now done. So, what do I go for next then? Raise your prisoner capacity to 15. Right, we'll go with that. Again, extra Mooney. 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 Lots of extra Mooney. Uh, okay, so quick build again. Just rotate these around now. Place all these in. Okay, it didn't cost me that much. Okay, maybe it did. <laughs> Holy moly, look at the money going. Okay, maybe it did cost me quite a bit. There we go there. And then we have that little space there for two metal detectors at the very end. So it's going to be pretty dope. I'm super impressed, boy. I like it. I like it a lot. Making good progression. Very, very good progression. So while they get all that set up then... Um... We need to build a canteen, don't we? We need to be able to feed the peeps right now. They need to be fed. They're going to get hungry, guys. They're going to get hungry. So planning-wise, then, uh, we're going to set up now, then. So if I do, like, two off. So the pathway is going to continue down there. And down there. So walls, then. If I had... 16, 16 by, we'll go 16, no, should we go 16 by 16? Hmm, yeah, I'll go 16 by 16. Is that going to be enough? I don't know. We'll do a 16 by 20 for the canteen. And we're also going to need a kitchen to place on that too. So if I do a 16 by 10. So half is 16 is of course eight. Not, oh, it doesn't really work out, does it? One's always gonna be the beginning of that. I was thinking, I wonder if I can like separate it, but no. Okay, that's too big. We'll go a 16 by did I just do a 16 by 8? I'm not sure. But we'll go with that anyway for the kitchen size. And how much will foundations be for that? 8,000. Right, we'll get that done. That's going to be the kitchen. So this kitchen here will serve another cell area. Well, four cells. Because that is... Walls. That is uh, 18 by 38. So if I did eighteen, oh no, he's got by one. So eighteen by thirty-eight. That will be the second one here, and then we have like a nice little walkway going through there. So this kitchen here should serve. Um, so that's 20, uh, 40, see, 80. Hmm. <laughs> that's meant to serve 80. Holy moly. Okay, maybe I extend it a bit more. I did a kitchen here, maybe. 
<laughs> I didn't realize he's gonna serve 80. It, I mean, he's gonna serve 80 at different times. If that makes sense. But we'll see. We'll see. Right, objects then. Large jail door. So we'll drop that in there. Get it all built and up and running. It's going to be a very basic canteen to begin with. But it will do the job, guys. It will do the job. Okay, so. What am I missing now, then? Uh, oh, the shower room. Okay, so let's quickly... Uh, now, let's quickly get it playing so they can get it done. So, shower room. Drop that in there. Objects. We need a shower head. So, I literally just have it all running across. Like that. Uh, utilities, we gotta get all these this in. So get all the pipe work in now. Which is quite a bit to do. Understandable. Uh, the water's not currently flowing yet, and I, I think that's because the actual water pump is not connected to power, the power grid just yet. So we'll get that done in just a second. Let's get all this piping in. Uh, another object we need for the, the shower, out, which is these drains there. Okay, good stuff. So is it, yeah, it's not connected to the power grid. I thought so. So we'll connect that up then. So the water has power and we can pump it around the system. Uh, materials then, we'll get the brick wall in there. So, I will place in a staff door momentarily. I just got to figure out how I want the layout of the uh, the canteen. So, get the utilities going around. There we go. How are they doing? They got a long way to go. They got so many pipes they need to place in. Has he got power? Uh, has he got power yet? Oh, he's got. Oh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, he connected the the water to the pump. <laughs> right there we go. That should solve a lot of problems there. It's now raining. Oh dear God. Right, water is now in. Yep, they've all got water. Well, the majority of them of them has got water. Uh, we can actually do another grant. Um, staff room. I need somebody to give me some. Well, we we'll get that mod installed one. There we go. Uh, many prison with an inmate capacity of 20. Congratulations. Do we not have a capacity of 20? Or do we have to get... Oh, have 20 inmates. We'll have that very soon anyway. Uh, we got 7,000 currently in the bank. Nice. Uh, okay, so. How do I want this canteen? So let me first zone the rooms. So, canteen here, kitchen there, and objects. So, we need then these serving tables. So, if I place a serving table, well, one there, one there. If I did it like that, serving tables there, how... Mm. See, I'm not feeling that. What if? It's, it's just hard to work out because I don't know how I want to do these tables, the tables in general anyway. So if I do like one there like that. And have a bench. Right, let's, try, let's see if we can figure this out then. So, there like that. Right, I'll stop that one there. I'm trying to figure out the perfect kind of layout for this. So, serving tables. And can I squeeze in one more set of tables and chairs? Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, sweet. All right, this should work out for everybody now very, very well. 
So it just takes a little bit of playing around with uh, staff door. We'll do a double staff door system there. And then we need to set the kitchen up too then. So cookers, they're 500 a pop. So I won't place every single one that I need in. We need a table in here as well, don't we? Right, we got 2,000 remaining. 2,000 remaining! Uh, rooms then, we need yard. Oh, there we go, yard. So, place that over to there. Uh, we need a holding cell, which I haven't built yet. <laughs> they literally haven't built it yet. Damn. Sunny, yeah, you fool. Right, we get all that in then. Should I build a holding cell? For now? Or should we wait till we got a little bit extra cash money moolah? I think we should do that. What I'm going to do now then is materials. We're going to build a very basic fence. Where's the fence? Have I gone past it? There we go, fence. Build a very basic fence for now. It's fairly cheap. Just to, you know, house the prisoners in so they don't escape. It's a very, very basic prison, guys. Very, very basic. <laughs> don't get too excited. Uh, but... It leads on to great proce uh, progress in the future. So there's no apparently there's no canteens linked to this for some reason. I can't set up logistics anyway. Is it because I need to hire two cooks? I'll get two guards as well. That's what they want me to get. Uh, so what's the issue now? Then there are no canteens except for a prison. Uh, no, nowhere to eat. Well, they kind of do. The canteen's there. So, don't lie to me, game. Don't lie to your boy. <laughs> so, yeah. It's a very basic start. But, it's progress we'll make over the episodes. Okay, there we go. We've actually got that done. Over the episodes, if we continue to play it. So, guys. If you want me to continue this, then make sure you smash that like button down below. We do come back for a second episode. What we're going to do then is accept uh, a couple of prisoners into the prison. Um, we'll probably get the full 20. We'll probably only take like a uh, low, uh, low... What's it called now? Let me get some reports. Intake. Um, oh, uh, low minimum security prisoners. So there's like a very, very low risk of, you know, incidents and whatnot. Just so we can start to complete the grants, get some extra money, and slowly progress in this prison. Now remember guys, there's a ton of mods that I've got installed into this series. So, there's going to be a lot of things that you probably haven't have seen in regular series before. Or even actually seen yourself. So, it's going to be a pretty cool series. So, we're going to end it for there, you guys. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button down below. If you're on your own here, make sure you subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,